the same as Uncle Les. You've had cereal. It's not fair. I didn't even get an Easter egg. <sighs> I'm trying to get round him. Now, what did I tell you to say when you take it to him? Why do I have to do this? Because it'll sound better coming from you. Now, come on. I have to say it. Please don't be angry with me, Mum. Good. She only did what she did because she was... Desperate. Desperate. What is it you did? Never you mind. She stole off your sister. Don't listen to him, son. This is between me and you. There's no need to involve little lad. Find out sooner or later, won't he? When you move out and get arrested. Find out what? Nothing, Chesney. Now go out and play. Well, you would take Uncle Les's breakfast. Using the lad to get round me, are you? Well, it won't work. And as for that, the sight of it knocks me sick. Can I eat it, then? No, you can't. Now go on, vamoosh. Yes. You can't let it go to waste. Shall I eat it up? I'm not hungry. Not even for Fred Elliot's black pudding? Why don't we go upstairs? Work up an appetite. Don't! Are you going to keep this up all day? You've made your point, God knows. Then how come you're still here? Because I can't accept we're finished over something as daft as this. Then you don't know me very well, then, do you? Oh, I know you, Les. You're a man of compassion and warmth. Not the cold, unfeeling brute I'm looking at now. I thought I knew you. But not now. Not after this. One moment of weakness in what? Months of bliss. And that's it. I'm to be cast onto the streets with nowhere to go, cos I have nowhere to go, Les. Not my problem. I love you, Les. I love being with you. Surely there's something I can do to put things right. It's too late. Les, I'm begging you. Look at me. Please say you'll give me another chance. Please, Les. Please. Got police with you? Well, don't worry, I'll come quietly. I'd sooner spend the rest of my life in jail than be without Les. She's not going to the police, are you, Fizz? No. Yeah, don't scoff it all at once or you'll be sick. Oh, Ta! You mean it? You're not going to shock me? Yeah, I said so, didn't I? Oh, Fizz. Fizz don't love. hug me. Don't let her hug me, Kirk. Well, at least let me say thank you. Yeah, well, it's Kirk you want to thank. If it was up to me, you'd already be in the cells. Well, thank you, Kirk. I still think it was a terrible thing you did. Yeah, and if you ever pull a stunt like that again... I won't, I won't. And you don't set foot in my flat without me there, do you hear? It was a moment of weakness, Fizz. I'll regret it the day I die. And you pay off the bill in full today. How much is it? 237 quid. How am I going to find that kind of money? It's your problem. But you better add, or I will go to the police. OK, OK, I'll find it. But if I do, is that an end to it? I suppose so. You hear that, Les? Yeah. Even Fizz can find it in her heart to forgive me. Can't you? <sighs> Eat your tea before it goes cold. Not hungry. Hey, what's the matter, son? Nothing. Not been himself all day, have you, son? Tell you what, why don't I bring you back some chips? Where are you off to, then? Do you care? Just asking. I've got to go and see somebody, old mate of a mate. See if I can borrow this money for Fizz. Won't be long. You're back, then. And look what I've got. 230 smackers in cash. I give this to Fizz, she's in clear, and we can draw a line under the whole sorry affair. You make it sound like you're the victim. I am, in a way. Society thrusts these temptations under my nose. I'm only human. Oh, I can't keep this up any longer. I'm fed up of being annoyed with you. Come here. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh. <laughs> Besides, you know I can't resist you in the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have an early night? 
make up for me spending last night on city. Good idea. You go on up, I'll follow in a tick. Mm. Night, cheers! Night, Uncle Wes. Are you staying up? You can if you like, there's no school tomorrow. 